Hey everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome back to Paul's and Paper. So we're here today with another Drab to Fab Friday, and this is what we're going to be making today. We're going to be using our paper clips, and we're going to make these cute little things to just attach onto a journal. And they open up, and they're like a little mini notebook to just attach onto the side of a journal. And you can make these in all different shapes and sizes. And I can show you, let's attach one on here and let's just pull out the journal here. So these can just attach just right on the side. And there you go. You got a cute little additional attachment to a journal. They're very flat and they will close right in there. And see, they're not adding extra bulk or anything. So yeah, super cute. You can see I've got a couple different sizes here. Here's one, it's a little bit more squared. And I've just put a little bit of, this is all just using some scraps. Um, don't need much paper in there. And then just decorate it up a little bit. Um, and then uh, this one here, I did sew around it, but you can do either sew or no sew. Um, yeah, but they're super cute. And there's even, this one has a little bit deeper of a pocket, but yeah, just some cute little paper clip mini notebooks or journals to attach onto your journals. So there's a big long one. And uh, these, we're just gonna use uh, the uh, some of our 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and some paper clips. So let's move these off to the side here. And we're gonna make the one that's like this size here. This is approximately two inches wide here. And then when we fold our paper down, it gets to be, let's see, how tall is this guy? Um, so two by three. So this one here ends up being a two by three. And this, this is the one I'm gonna show you today, but so many different sizes. All you have to do is adjust how you fold it or cut your paper and you can make a million different sizes. So I've got a couple sheets here. Let's back you up just a little, there we go. Um, some 12 by 12 sheets here. These are the full ones. And then I've also just got along some scraps. So if you have some off cut scraps, as long as they're 12 inches tall, because the way I'm going to be folding them down and attaching the paper clip, we're only going to need two inches wide, but they need to be 12 inches tall. So if you have some of the off cuts or whatever, that's going to be great to use up some of your 12 by 12 scraps here. Um, and then just cut them down. But I'm going to show you how I just start with a full 12 by 12 sheet. And we're going to do um, two inches wide. So I am going to cut this guy down. I'm just going to quickly measure here my two inch intervals. And these, I think, make a cute size. And, uh, this size here. I think that's just a, a nice size to fit as, you know, if you're just going to put it as an addition um, into a journal. So let's cut our strips here. And so you can see out of a 12 by 12 sheet, we're going to get six of these guys out of one sheet of paper. So you can be making these guys all day and they're super easy super easy to come together uses scraps and they're kind of fun to make okay so there's my strips cut down and like I said if you just do wider you're gonna end up with a wider one like this one here is about two and a half inches wide so just however wide you're making your strips is how big your little notebooks are gonna be okay so this one here, I'm going to grab one of my paper clips, and I've been using the big ones, but let's just use this one here. So what I'm going to do is, is just fold the bottom up. We're going to make the little matchbook thing. So I'm going to fold my bottom up, and I'm not measuring. I just kind of fold it up. Um, if you want to know exactly, that's probably about an inch. I folded it an inch up. So see there? So that's my matchbook top. So now what I want to do is fold the top down and we're going to come all the way down so that it covers here inside. Can you see how far I am in there? I will end up, I've been gluing these sides down 
So I just want it to go past the top of this. So I'm going to make sure that's lined up there. And then I'm just going to fold this guy down. Okay. So at this point, you can put your paper clip in here. And what I'm going to do is put the small side in the white space. And then it's exposed on the back, which I don't mind because it's going to be, you're, you're going to mainly keep it on a journal anyway. But if you don't like that, there's tons of ways to, you know, do a totally hidden paper clip. This one is not. Um, so now I'm just going to fold it again. And this time we're going to fold it so that when you come down, you have enough so that it just tucks into your little pocket here. So when you tuck it down, that it goes into your little fold there to hold it, your little matchbook closed. Okay. So here then we're going to adjust. I'm going to move my paper clip down. Okay, so there's all of our folding. So now we have our little cute little matchbook. Now here's the part that's super, super easy. Unfold it all. And you can use a uh, glue stick. I use the Scotch Create glue stick or this is Fabrifix. I'm just going to use Fabrifix because it's super quick and easy for me right now. But totally glue stick would work for this project. This is not a heavy duty project. Nothing that needs to be super reinforced. These are pretty lightweight here. So you just want to glue this down. Went a little too far at the end there. Okay, so your paper clip is going to be glued in here. Even though it is exposed on the back, it's not going to go anywhere because it is being glued down on the inside. Okay, so super, super simple. Squish that all together. All right. And now I also want to just glue my two sides. So here and here to make our pocket. So let's see if I can get you in just a little bit closer. You can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to glue these sides here just a little bit. And this is where you could sew these um, sides, just the sides if you wanted to. Obviously, you can't sew over your paper clip or anything. But you could uh, just take it over to the sewing machine and run it down the two sides here. That would really help, you know, adhere them together. So we're going to give that a little squish. Let's let that seal. Okay. And then... What I've been doing now, since I have a square top here, I'm going to have to angle these out just a little so that they'll tuck down in here, um, like this one here. See how I have to angle the edges so that they tuck into that flap? So again, I'm just kind of looking, not really measuring anything, and I'm just going to do a little side snip there Let's see if i can get fancy and use this one over here try to make them even maybe i'm never too good at the whole even schmeven thing okay so there we go all right so now we got our little angled edges and that should just tuck right in there see just like that all right so you can see these are super fast and easy to make gonna expand you out again I'm going the wrong way okay so now um, I just been grabbing some scraps I had these like uh, cutoffs of the edges of some coffee dyed paper so what I'm gonna do is just take a couple pieces of those and these are almost just as wide as this one um, they're yeah they're exactly the wide as wide as this one so I'm going to just kind of judge and I these are just super scrappy looking so they're not all the pages are not all even they're not all perfectly cut it's all just kind of just hodgepodged in here it's meant to look a little bit scrappy so how many pages do I got here I think I got just three right I've been trying to put five so we got three so let's see if we can get one more out of here one more set. So this is a good way to use up some scraps. You can see I'm just kind of eyeball measuring. Nothing too serious here. Measuring, cutting, 
not being very precise at all. Not bad. I cut that really great. Let's try this. There we go. Let's clean that up just a little bit. Okay. So I think now I have like six little pieces of paper in here. Super easy. And all we're going to do is now we're just going to staple these little guys in here to make it even easier. There's no sewing involved. So get my little stapler out here. I'm going to go right on the spine. There we go. So we got our staple in there. Fold it on down. And now you can see my papers stick out there. So what I've been doing is I've been taking the whole group of papers, turning it over, and then I've just been cutting the edges off. And that keeps it from sticking out like that. Just like so. And then the whole group just folds right down in there like that. And there you go. You have your little matchbook paper clipped uh, mini journal to stick on um, to any of your journals. So now the other thing that I was doing, I was just decorating these guys up here. So you can see how they come together super quick. Should we make one more and then decorate one so you can see the process again? Okay, we'll make one more. All right, so how about I use, I had a bunch of them, here we go, I had a bunch of them already pre-cut because um, I was making them before. Should we make, how about this one, the green one or this green one? That looks kind of Christmassy, coming up into the Christmas mode. All right, let's do that one. Okay, so this one here, and let's take it out so you can see a little bit more. Okay, so again, this is another one that's just two inches wide and 12 inches tall. So here we go. And this one actually has double sided. You can see it doesn't matter if they're double sided. If it's white on one side, it doesn't matter. This one actually has print on both sides. So it doesn't matter what you use. So I'm just gonna fold up the top or the bottom. Okay. And then we're gonna fold the top down. Tuck it in there. And then fold it down again so that it tucks in to my little flap at the bottom. Okay, so everything's all folded. There we go. Um, grab one of my paper clips, and I've been using the colored ones, but you could totally use the just the plain old silver ones. Um, I've been liking the colored ones. I think they're kind of cool, and I've been using the big ones, even though they're small little things, but uh, like I said, I don't mind the paperclip look on the journal. So there we go. Got my paperclip on there. So now we just fold it all up. And we glue her all down. Okay. There we go. Super simple. Fold it all back down again. Got our paper clip glued in there. It's not going anywhere. A little extra glue at the bottom, squishing out. Give it a second here. So yeah, these are, I mean, this could be a total mess making thing. Come together super quick. And this one here, should we, should we round the corners on this one just to see what that looks like? Just for the fun of it? Sure. And you can ink these up. I haven't been inking them. I think they're super cute the way they are. Um, but yeah, you could totally ink them up and everything. Go to town with these. These would be super, super fun to, to decorate up as much as you like. Okay. And it's a good way to use up some scrap pieces. It doesn't take much at all. Okay, so again, we're just going to have to angle our corners a little bit so that will fit in there nicely the old corner here Put that in there okay and an angle there okay all right so we should be able to tuck in there perfect all right so there we go our construction of the paper clip, little mini journal, mini journal, ugh, geez, can't spit that out, is complete. And then let's grab some scrap paper here. 
and we had just three sheets and we got enough pages out of that last time, didn't we? So we should be able to do the same here and get that folded in there. Right about. You see, I mean, like, no measuring involved. Um, no inking, no gluing. This is just a super simple project. Kind of a fun one to do. Okay, let's just trim these all up just a little bit. I feel like they're a little bit long. Cutting too many pieces of paper here, getting them all crazy. Okay, so let's pop that guy in there. And what do we do? We staple her down. Let's grab our handy dandy little stapler. Pop a staple right on there. And ta-da! All right, let's cut my edges off. And throw confetti everywhere. Woo! All right, so it all tucks down nice and neat. There we go. All right, so now we've had two of those, so this comes together super, super fast. All right, now the fun part. Should we decorate up? Let's decorate. What can we decorate? What can we decorate with? Hi, let's see. What do I've got? You're there, you go. Now you guys can see what we're doing. All right, so what do I have here? I got just a bowl of my scraps here, so I have what I've been doing. Because of the staple on the top, I've been kind of doing one of these numbers and just kind of covering it up because I didn't really want to see the staple. So that looks kind of cool. Should we do that? I like that. Oh, let's see. I had my pinking shears. Hang on, I need my pinking shears. Oh, sorry. I noticed one side was had the pinking on it and kind of like that so let's do this side with the same and just kind of judge there we go okay so let's glue this down the top and you if you like the look of the staples you know totally keep them on there but i kind of like to cover them plus it, it makes it a little bit smoother so it doesn't get caught on anything um i, I think it just looks cute to add something else to the tops of these. So this is just some pretty, pretty uh, ribbon here. It's got all kinds of silvers and golds in it. I don't think I glued enough. We're, uh, we're not sticking quite yet. Let's see here. What's going on, guys? Let's get on here. All right, I want you to stay. Stay there. You guys need to stay here. It's not cooperating with me. We're, we're have to be forceful with it. Okay, there we go. That's better. All right, so there's our top. Now our staples taken care of, being covered. How about this one here? Should we? Is this this is kind of a clashy color, isn't it? But do you think that matches? Does it matter? I've got. Well, that really clashes. What else we got? What else we got? Got just a piece of fabric. We got any... Oh, that's kind of pretty. Does that match? Do we care? It's kind of coordinating, right? Okay, let's see. Let's just make it work. Let's make it work. We just need a little piece of this. Okay, so you see we're just using scraps up. No biggie. Okay, so I'm just going to glue the top right over that staple here okay pop this down these would be really cute too to make them um, you make these a uh, little uh, seasonal like different seasons for Christmas or Easter or anything like that they could all be have a little theme to them or you could just make little random ones but just because they're cute now how, how cute does that look Super cute to be tucked on a journal somewhere. All right, so what else we need? We need a little something on the front here, don't we? I had this whole box of little mini uh, butterflies and stuff cut out, so let's just go with that. Oh, and I had some book page too. Do I have scraps? I have scraps. What are we talking about? I have scraps. Okay, 
You guys can't see anything because I'm so close in here. Here's my box of scraps. And I just want, here we go, just want some text. So let's just take some of this. Get that torn around. And this is where I'm going to switch back to my glue stick. And I'm just going to make a tiny little cluster here. And I'm going to just put some... Um, Put some book page down. Same here. Put some book page down. Not being precise, just playing. These are super, super casual. Just for funsies. Okay. And then how about we pick a cute little picture? Let's see, any colors that kind of go? That's kind of pretty. The reds. And how about this one? This one's kind of understated and simple. Okay. Yeah, you can totally ink these up or do whatever you want. But today, I'm just not feeling the inking. And you know, we all have those days. And they look good without ink. You don't, you guys, you don't have to have those things. You just, you know, I know so many people use them. And they're fun. They are fun. But you just, you don't have to have them. It's not necessary. So keep telling yourselves. It's not necessary to have all those things. I can still have fun and create with what I have, okay? So don't be afraid to just try it, even with whatever you have, whatever you have. Okay, so let's, I've been trying to use up this one, I've been using this one piece of uh, ribbon uh, for almost all of them. It's going a long ways. So maybe I want to do like the, just the top of the, my little flap here. I'm just going to put a little band of ribbon across there. Um, place that down. And see, this is the fun part, guys. Just embellishing up away. Super cute. I mean, come on. How cute is that? A tiny little mini add-on to your journal. All right, and let's do, what should we do with this one? This one's kind of Christmassy looking. I have some, I have some gold there, maybe that. Okay, let's just pop a piece of that on there. Should we go at the bottom? Or should we go, let, yeah, let's do it at the, let's do it at the, the flappy thing, whatever you want to call it. What do you call this thing? The, f the flap closure? This thing, wherever that goes in there. All right. There we go. So there we go, guys. Super simple paper clip mini journals that you can attach onto pretty much anything. So I hope you guys give this one a try. Super fun, super simple. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.